Sharing surveillance video, which appears to show a group of armed people stealing several cars. And in one of those incidents, the alleged thieves nearly ran over a family and fired a gun at the process. Kendall Hyde joins us with the latest. Yeah, that incident took place on March 15th around 3.30. When you talk with the Erlanger Police Department, they said it was a group of about 10 to 11 young adults who hopped out fully armed and stole several vehicles here in Erlanger. Erlanger police say this all started when a woman went outside to warm up her car. She says she went back inside of her home to get ready for work, so her husband kept an eye out on the vehicle. And that's when he says suspects tried to steal it. He alerted his wife and his brother-in-law, who also lives at the home. She and brother go out to confront them to try to stop them from stealing her car. He does the boneheaded thing of getting in front of the car to stop it from pulling off. She's on the side. They, uh, they take off, they drag her to the ground on the side, and they almost run over him. Just for somebody to come along and just take advantage of that and put her in harm's way and her brother in harm's way. Uh, I was concerned for them. Nick Sexton is a lifelong Erlanger resident and family friend of the victims. My neighbor came up to me and was told me about what happened, and then uh, we went back on our camera footage, our Nest camera footage, and we are able to see you know, from a distance, kind of what happened. And in the video, you can hear screams as the alleged thieves take off with the car. And seconds later, fire a gunshot. A group of individuals driving into an area and basically bailing out and swarming cars and neighborhoods, breaking into them, taking items from them, taking the cars. Erlanger police detective Tom Luce says the suspects travel in large groups of 10 or more oh, with face masks and hoodies. Luce says you can't find the suspects because they don't live in Erlanger. This group we're dealing with came out of Louisville and so it's much harder to knock on doors and you know, do the boots on the ground detective work when you have to drive an hour and a half just to get to the starting point. A few weeks ago, police say that the car stolen from the home on Hallam Avenue was found at a gas station near Louisville and was involved in a high speed chase. The driver crashed and the car caught fire. One juvenile was arrested while others who were in the vehicle got away. Lou says that the Erlanger Police Department has teamed up with several other police agencies throughout the Commonwealth to end the thefts. Now, the Erlanger Police Department says they don't believe that this was an isolated incident. They believe that these young adults are targeting cars that may be unlocked or running, like the one we see here on March 15th. They say make sure if you see these men or women, do not approach them. They are believed to be armed and dangerous. Please call police. In Erlanger, Kendall Hyde, Fox 19 Now.